A driver hit by a rock thrown on the Quinana Freeway has been left bedridden a month on from the attack. The father of four says the injuries are likely to shorten his life and he wants the teenagers accused of the stunt charged with attempted murder. Bedridden, angry and demanding action. It must be a way of making these younger people look at themselves. This is what you've done or come and meet the victim, meet his wife. Meet his children, have a chat to the doctor. He's a sick man anyway, but you just made him ten times worse. Stephen Turner suffered a ruptured spleen when a rock the size of a football was held at his moving car, smashing the windscreen. His internal injuries led to an infection, and that's taken a serious toll on his health, potentially even shortening his life. The father of four needing two operations in the past month alone. He can't even shower himself, nothing. So um, he's been totally disempowered and he's in so much pain. He's on oxygen 24-7. Stephen's brother Kevin was driving on the Kwanana Freeway when they were hit. One of 14 victims pelted with rocks that night. His family want whoever was behind the attack to see how it put his life on hold. It's not a tit-for-tat thing. I'm not a big, big one on revenge and that kind of thing because then nobody wins. But I'm thinking some accountability some responsibility. I think they should come and see my brother and actually see what they've done. Two 16-year-old boys have been arrested and charged over the dangerous stunt, both released on bail. The boys are facing more than 50 charges and up to 20 years in prison if found guilty, but the family want the teenagers to be charged with attempted murder. The family is now calling for tougher laws so this doesn't happen to another family. They want offenders to have tighter restrictions, including night curfews. Policies to be reviewed would be a great thing because they potentially they shouldn't have been in there anyway. If they'd been in care and if they had a supervised bail, none of this would have happened. The accused teenagers are back in court at the end of the month. Anne-Marie Leonard, Nine News.